There we go. Okay. Up and running on Twitch here. I am Michael from Secret Fire Podcast, and I'm going to do a little test here today because I went through all of my settings in OBS and uh, uh, um, got it set up for the new Lotro show that Micah and I are going to start doing. Unfortunately, the past two weekends, we've been bombarded with this weekend really sucks. Okay, really, really, really sucks. Yesterday, uh, last night, Mike on his way home from uh, from work calls me that his car overheated on the interstate. So I go out there to take a look at it. Looks like the water pump is leaking like a sieve. Had to have it towed. So I have him take our family car to work this morning and get a call on his way to work that he blew a tire. It's just uh, no fun. Not fun today. Uh, and so uh, Mike and I were not able to start our new show this weekend. We didn't do it last weekend. So I'm just going to hop on and play some Lotro here for a little bit uh, and, and test out all these uh, new uh, doodads that I have set up for that show. So this is just going to be fun. Uh, logged into Lotro and got a notification that I'm invited to the treasure hunt and I want to do that. So, uh, but first of all, what I'm going to do is go to uh, check my vault and uh, see if I have any picks in there and things such as that. Uh, for you folks that actually play Lotro, you understand what I'm saying. Let's go ahead and switch over here to full screen. I am playing this on a Mac. And recently, the Mac um, edition or uh, version of, of Lotro has drastically changed. They did away with the native client, and now I am to use a Wine uh, client. Okay, and this guy How do you can do? take me there, so I don't have to use my map. But first, I do need to go and check my vault. We're in Mickle Delving right here. Love Mickel Delving. Let me check something here. Frame rates. Not so hot. Man, they changed a lot of things. I haven't been in Mickel Delving since they changed and added uh, new wonderful things. Let's open up my my vault. Good day. Well, thank you. Good day to you, too. All right. Let us go. Down here, past the burden, baby. Back to the stable. We'll get a hitch a ride. To the treasure field. This. Okay, I like this setup here. How do you do? I'm fantastic. There we go. <laughs> Swift travel. the treasure fields. Do I have my treasure goat thing? Oh, I never got that. That's I don't have that. <laughs> of course not. There's my treasure laden pony. Let's see if I have anything else to change into here. What do I have? What am I wearing? I like that. I'm going to change into my ranger. Yeah. Alrighty, <clears throat> here we go. We will talk to. Let me get me a. a uh, what is this? Traveling goat to the mountain meadow. No, he has like flowers and stuff all over him. Okay, I will get my cave claw pony.
Okay, talk to him. Treasure hunt. Greetings, traveler. Hello Greetings, again, Tadbo. How goes the hunt? Okay. Okay, and get this thing some berries. Somebody get this thing some berries. Too far away. It's right here. There we go. Berries. I am at your service. Okay, I got that. Berries. I must get berries to feed that cave claw. Guy, near switch screen. Sorry about that. Five berry bushes. I don't know why I love the treasure hunt so much. I never do very well at it, but I just like it. I'm a festival kind of a guy. Okay, let's find one more bush. Here we go. Alrighty, go in and turn in those berries or feed them to the cave claw and I'll get something nice for it. We're in the lowlands here in Arid Luin. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love it. Wish you were here. And that got me a couple of uh, picks, uh, another tra uh, train cave claw, and a dowsing gem. Okay. Now, how many? I have two cave claws. I have 16 picks and one dowsing gem. It's been a few months since I've been here. Let me see here. Barber items. Traveler. Okay, that's going to cost me five points for one, but I do at least want one more. I'll take a couple of dowsing gems. No, I'm gonna take two. Oh gosh. Five tokens. Okay. Alrighty, here's what we do. We're gonna go find a place that I like. And I'm gonna wait until I get a notification that this round is over before I start. So, for you folks that haven't played Lotro, this is a festival. This is just a fun thing that you can go and get extra stuff. And I really want the this goat, this treasure-laden goat. But it's like a thousand, I think a thousand tokens. But anyway, uh, what we're doing here is this treasure hunt is you can find um, little tiny treasure you know, at these glowing spots, uh, medium-sized treasures, large-sized treasures, and then there's going to be one huge treasure. And once somebody finds a huge treasure, then that round is over. Uh, so I'm going to stay here and wait until I get notification that somebody found the huge treasure. Um... It's really tricky. 
because there is a lot of digging sites. And all of these, again, these radiant glowing spots are dig sites. And I can release a trained cave claw and he will seek out uh, the best site that's near, near me. I can also use these dousing gems just to go by a place and wave it over the spot and, and it'll give me a, a reading. But that just works on one dig site, whereas the trained cave claw, he'll run around and find the best site. I mean, I, I've uh, I've dug up. Well, I dug up the uh, this pony that I was riding, which is uh, oh no, not this one. Uh, this guy right here. I found him in a dig site. That's fantastic find. What else did I dig up in a dig site? Um, I believe I I got my treasure laden pony out of a dig site. You can see he has a little chest of gold. Reminds me of what uh, Bilbo brought home after the war uh, battle of the five armies. When he and Gandalf stopped off at the at the uh, cave of the mountain trolls, where they had buried troll gold and treasure, I don't. I have a feeling not many people are playing. I'm not seeing anybody, so I'm gonna release a uh, gonna release one of my guys. Ready? See what he does. There he goes. Large dig site. Okay, I'll take a large dig site. And I got a dousing gem in there and buried treasure tokens. How many? Three. That wasn't a good... Man, that wasn't very good. All right. Let's go over here and release another one of them. See where he goes over here. Medium dig site. Ugh. Come on. Why is it? Oh, there we go. Medium treasure cache. A dousing gem and uh, two buried treasure tokens. So, what is in this treasure cache? What? Are, what was it? Eight buried uh, treasure tokens. Oh, somebody just got it. See, they all just. Oh, that one. No, oh, okay, I'm wrong. I'm incorrect. Okay, let's go here and release another dude. Small. Ugh. I'm gonna I'm gonna dig it up. Very treasure token. Okay. I've got one last cave claw. Let's see what he does. medium. Man, where's that huge? Give me something good, please. Two tokens. That was not good. Okay. Well, I have some... Uh, how many dousing gems do I have? Seven. So, what I'm going to do is just... Uh, we're just going to gamble. So, I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to try one of these gems and see what reading it. Very weak reading. Yay!
Try it on this one. Very weak reading. Mm. I've got a bad feeling about this. Very weak reading. Where the heck? There, gosh. You know what? Sometimes you just waste a pick. That got me three tokens. Okay. Let's hop on my Cave Claw Masked Pony. See, I'm not good at this. Uh, little treasure finding festival, but I like it. And who knows how long I have. Six minutes left. Oh, goodness. Okay. I can... I'm going to go. I am at your service. Well, thank you. I'm going to get a couple of these guys and go back out. I'm telling you, nobody's playing today. It's interesting. Okay, come on, buddy. Give me something good. Large. I'll take it. Three, okay, and a dowsing gem. Man, that is not a good large dig site. Who said, who? Frustrating. How many dozen gems do I have? Four. You just never know. There's no way of knowing. Just no way of knowing. Okay. Fair. Ugh. Oh, Very strong reading. Okay. That's what I was looking for. This one. Huge treasure cache, so I just ended the round. A trained cave claw. This is where the huge uh, cache was. Okay, so five buried treasure tokens and a trained cave claw. Um, and then that uh, huge treasure cache. Let's see what's in that. Please be good. Twelve buried treasure tokens. I'll take it. See, there we go. That was it. What's this? Purchase treasure picks. I don't want to. Okay, so that got me back up to 295. Okay, so I made back all of my tokens that I spent and um, gained an extra 20. So that's, I mean, it's gambling. This is truly gambling. A new round started. You know what I like to do sometimes? I like to do this. Let it go right where I was. There's a large dig site. I'll take it. I uh, got another pick and three tokens. So that got me up to 298 tokens, and I still have eight picks. I see people come in here all the time, and, uh, and they'll just randomly pick. 
<laughs> randomly pick a, 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 a spot and just start swinging at it. And you don't, that's a waste. Don't ever do that. Use your, what you want is those trained cave claws. Um, and then when you're out of those, use the dousing gem. When you have neither one of those left, just wait until you can go back like I'm about to do. I'll probably have about five minutes left or so that I have to wait in order to um, do those two little quests to uh, to get a couple of things up there at the front. I'm taking you back. And so we will go and get some more berries for that cave claw when he's ready for me. Okay, look, I can already talk to the dwarf. Okay, um, and he's going to let me I would go be grateful for your assistance. and get me uh, more picks. Go and speak with uh, the other guy over here and he'll supply you with a couple. Okay, so right here, that's how you get a free couple of picks. Talk to him. Service. Thank you. Let's see here. I don't want to purchase more. I don't have the money to purchase more. What's he got here? Greetings, traveler. Yeah, let's see here. Huge cash rewards. Unearth sack. I want the boy. I can't see. I need to. Increase my my font here. Okay, and okay, this guy's gonna be ready for me in 37 seconds. So I'll be able to go and pick him some berries and come back and get a you know a dousing gem or what have you, something nice. Switch back there. Still have 10 picks. Hey, wait a second. Oh, okay. Yeah, you gave me a couple of picks. Eight seconds. Come on, train cave claw. You're ready for me now. There he is. Yes, uh, get another uh, train cape claw and a couple of picks and a dousing gem. See, that's fantastic stuff. Well, bing. Okay, here's some bushes here. Bushes. Here's one up here. And one right next to it. Perfect. Okay. Let's go and uh, take those back. go now we can go back out i have 12 picks oh only one cape claw so um I mean, okay i'm gonna buy a couple more or barter a couple of tokens at your service me. and your okay. families one two okay so that took me down to 288 tokens hopefully so you're just gambling hopefully i can make that back and more
this person doing some digging. That went off. Large. Okay, that got me a large treasure cache, a dousing gem, and three tokens. Let's see what's in that chest. Twelve tokens! So I made um, my tokens back from buying those cave claws. So now I'm up to 303 tokens. That makes me very happy. That's how it's supposed to work. And slowly but surely, one day I'll be able to buy that goat. Maybe in a couple more years. I've only been trying for five years or so. Oh, somebody got it. See? The round has ended. The event will restart shortly. Okay. There we go. I love it. Waiting for a new round. A new round has begun, but I don't see anything glowing yet, so we need our, di our digging sites. So here we go. Got this and this and this. Um, this is, I've never gotten anything from this spot, but we're gonna try. Small, small site. I'm gonna dig it up anyway. I have some picks. Uh, gave me a little ca a little treasure cache, man. I got a pick and a and a token. So let's see what's in that little treasure cache. Two two tokens. Okay, all right, that's fine. That's good. I got one more train cave claw. Let's let him go here. Small. Small dig site. Well, we're going to do it. Small treasure cache and a buried uh, treasure token. Let's see what's in this cache. Somebody... Oh, four tokens. There you go. So I'm up to three, uh, 311. And somebody just found the huge site. So this round is over. Um, I don't have a... I could go by... Well... What I'm gonna do. You can go up here and I'm just gonna pick a couple. How many do I have? How many dousing gems? Two. I'm just gonna pick a couple of random ones up here. Very weak reading. No, you don't want that. And, I'm, and I'll try this one. Very weak reading. All right. Well, I could go and buy a couple more of those uh, cave claws. They're five each, so the, if I buy a couple, they get me down to uh, 301 tokens. And then hopefully I can uh, find a good spot. gonna do a bargain your service well thank you I appreciate that one and two so yes 301 <laughs> tokens Got two of them bad boys it is a gamble However you do this, it's a gamble. Let's, boom. Let's let one go. <coughs> Large dig site, I'll take it. Large treasure cache, I got another pick and three tokens. So let's see what's in that cache and if I got my tokens back. Nine. 
token. So there. Okay. So I had 311. Now and then I uh, used uh, five, uh, 10 to buy two of these guys, and now I have. Now I'm back up to 313. So that's how that works. Let's go here, and I'm just going to use them here. I, Small dig side, I'm gonna take it. So I got another pick and a token. So now I'm still back up at, at 10 picks. So that worked out even. So that's good. But now I have nothing. I don't have, I have no uh, cave claws or uh, dowsing gems left, so not a good idea to just walk around randomly and use up my picks. So you just have to have patience. Have patience. Have patience. Don't be in such a hurry if you don't have patience. Hi everybody, I'm Michael from the Secret Fire Podcast. And Micah and I, my co-host, my son, for the Secret Fire Podcast, we are getting ready to start a new uh, Lotro show, in addition to our podcast, our audio podcast. And um, I'm just testing out all the all the settings and everything that I uh, that I got set up in o, uh, OBS here, and trying it out. And my streaming is strong right now. Looks like we're doing pretty good, and I have four and a half minutes to wait to be able to talk to Alduf. So, I think that I'm going to call this quits uh, for this stream. This is how this uh, this treasure hunt works. I love the treasure hunt; it's fun, and uh, I, I don't know why. I don't know why I like it. Look here, I'll show you. This is this is all that I want out of this. Okay. All that I want out of this treasure hunt that I've been doing for years is this goat. Okay, the harvest brew goat. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Got this pony keg on the back, got mugs on the side hanging. A mug or a stein up here. Got pretzel on the side. Probably has some sausages stuck in uh, some pockets or whatnot. Uh, in this naps in this sack right here. Look at how beautiful this thing is. Are those hops? Wow. Little pretzel. Uh, oh my goodness. This uh, has a tap on it on this pony keg. That's all I want. Am I asking too much? And how much is it? At your service and your families. Thank you. Um. Harvest brew goat. Yes, it's 1,000 tokens. And I just can't, man. I've been trying for years to get these 1,000 tokens. Yeah, oh, I was in I'm full screen. Let me go back and show you him again before we stop the stream. Man. He is beautiful. The detail is awesome. Yep, that's... One of the things that I want out of life, right there, the harvest brew goat. <laughs> uh, it's good stuff. Well, let's let me go and see how much longer I have with this dwarf. I am gonna go ahead and upload this to our uh, our YouTube page. I'm gonna continue playing, but my wife any moment now is going to ask me to go down and grill some chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the stream, and uh, hopefully. Iluvatar willing and the Bruinen don't rise. We will be back. Micah and I will both be back next weekend to begin our brand new Lotro series. This was just a test today. Just testing out uh, all the things that I have set up. And uh, we are hoping to do that on Friday nights. 
Friday nights. We're Central Time. And so, you know, Friday evenings or, or what have you here on Twitch. And we will upload it to our uh, YouTube channel after the fact. Our YouTube channel, just search for Secret Fire Podcast. Follow us on, well, you see everything right underneath me right here. You can follow us on Twitch at Secret Firecast. That's a good way to get notified as well. I don't know how Twitch works. What, can you sign up for notifications and you get a notification email or something whenever uh, somebody that you're following starts streaming? What have you. All right. Well, thanks for watching, and we will uh, we'll talk to you hopefully next Friday evening or next weekend sometime. So stay tuned for that. Take care, and uh, have a good time in Middle Earth. <laughs>